Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of The Devil in Me. Should be another exciting video today. Our last one was just an intro to the game, so we really don't know what to expect yet. So we're going to get right into it and we'll see what happens. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Digital Pants. Uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting tech for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnett, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer and possibly the worst. He was buried, as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? This is an interesting way to introduce our characters. So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just. <sighs> I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much. But my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please 
please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Okay, so they're being sent to film something. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave you behind if you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. I don't think it's the excitement they're expecting. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that could affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. Seems very sketchy. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. I think these guys are doomed. We'll see how many of them survive this playthrough. If this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? Is this guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly... Um, up there, the, the visuals will be great. We we'll, can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Uh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. <clears throat> Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? I don't see what could possibly go wrong with this. Christ, what the hell is that? Okay, we can hide. What was that, a dog? I didn't even see it. Uh, it's hard to 
adjust the camera in here because it's so tight. All right, don't take a speedboat near the rocks, apparently. Just needs some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Can we open these doors? We cannot. What is that? What in God's name is this? Charlie, I'm getting an Oh, jeez. Somebody has a... T what? The thing. <laughs> it moved. Some hobby. Guess this game has its jump scares, that's for sure. Okay, where are we going? So making sure we don't miss investigating anything in here. It's funny, you miss the smallest little detail. It could result in someone not surviving later. So I'm being pretty careful about what I look for. It's going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on, we better get back. Guess we're taking some sort of barge over to the mansion. Looks like a garbage boat of some sort. That him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello! Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin. Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that? Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Feels like he's the one who was obsessed and they just became his next victims. But we'll see as this plays out. Yeah, I got a feeling this is just the next murder mansion that's been rebuilt this and is going to capture them. This place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? I, I saw a little girl, up there. Man, 
Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Man, this is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I'll, I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. It looks just like the hotel, the World's Fair Hotel. Not sure who those two are yet. They haven't introduced them to us. This is my daughter. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw, a little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, his staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a haul, dude. I guess we're going to learn a little bit more about who they are. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've been married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh. I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me. But she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Okay, something went on with Kate uh, and Mark, I guess. Bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I going to walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. 
What is that? Wine, genius. Uh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Oh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh... It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. Half our characters have breathing problems in this game. Asthma. Since I was born, my meds are good. It's normally not a thing. I just need to be more careful of things like dust and pollen and getting the shit scared out of me. I'm an asshole. You didn't know. It's fine. Promise. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. <laughs> You gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. <laughs> oh, sorry. The wine is trash. Totally lied about that. Really? Uh-huh. Sorry, what I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together, and Charlie is always on me about being more professional, and... I get it. No, I mean, I I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's just, um... What are you doing? I, oh my god, I, uh, I... <laughs> Oh, you bitch! <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh! Oh! Sorry, sorry. <sighs> Who is that? Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. 
Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got ten minutes. Okay. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Why is this guy obsessed with cigarettes? To be continued, then? Yes. Definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. That's not good. It's like they're escaping now that they've lured us in. I don't think they're coming back. Where the hell are they going? I feel like a fly stuck in a spider web. I think we shouldn't have come into this mansion. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. So come see what happens next in The Devil and Me. Thanks for watching and bye for now.